Some information from Health Services Department, the Six Nations Mental Health and New Directions Group have amalgamated. The new service is called the Six Nations Mental Health and Addictions Team. And this team office is located at 1769 Chiefswood Road, which is the old New Directions uh, Group location. The entrance is in the back parking lot behind the Schwiegen Pharmacy. Look for the Mental Health and Addictions Team Open House Barbecue happening on Friday, September 14th. There will be door prizes and interactive games. And to reach Six Nations Mental Health and Addiction Services, please call 519-445-2143. Uh, about a month ago, my office was approached by representatives from Lyme Hope. This is a group that is doing advocacy work to educate people about Lyme disease. Deb Jonathan at Public Health followed up and contacted them, and then she organized a community meeting on August 8th. The meeting was very poorly attended, which was unfortunate, as there were a number of good speakers who provided expertise information about Lyme disease and the effects it can have on a person. We learned that people may have been bitten by a tick some years ago and had become very ill with a variety of symptoms. However, they were not properly diagnosed. In fact, they could have been diagnosed as having other illnesses or diseases when they actually had Lyme disease. For example, people having Lyme disease could have been diagnosed as being depressed, having Alzheimer's or dementia, memory loss, fatigue, along with a host of other symptoms. We also learned that people who have Lyme disease can pass it on to their children through pregnancy. There was a lot of important information presented about Lyme disease, which we feel that the community should be aware of. We will include this information in an upcoming newsletter, and we will also be holding another information session later in the year or in the new year. We encourage everyone to attend and find out more about Lyme disease. If people do have this, there are antibiotics that can be taken to help treat it. It may be that one may have Lyme disease but think they have something else and are getting treated for that but are not getting any better. Efforts are also underway to get doctors to more frequently test for Lyme disease. So watch for notices of another community meeting and please plan to attend.